Danny Taylor, welcome to a social media extra edition of the Music Universe podcast. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, we're great. And my name is Buddy, and we got Matt with us as well. Matt. Hey, Danny. Hi, Matt. So tell us, what have you been up to uh, during the pandemic? I see a lot of music releases, a lot of great things happening, and I see we're making the most of uh, this pandemic time. Tell, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so I really took this pandemic to focus on, you know, putting out the best possible uh, plan for a release for the music that I had recorded pre-pandemic and during the pandemic. Um, that includes, you know, doing the photo shoots and the graphics. Like I do, like I put all that together myself. I do my own graphics um, and just putting all of the videos together and just getting that all figured out. That is pretty much all I've been doing during <laughs> the pandemic. And obviously right now I'm actually, this year I, I'm really trying to focus on, um, you know, writing some new music that I feel like is truly me. And I also have some uh, ideas that I've been like working on, hopefully that can come to fruition later on this year. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on this pandemic. <laughs> Love that. Not a whole lot of artists have that opportunity to do all of that themselves, their own graphics, their own everything. What is that like for you? I mean, do you, you sound like you enjoy it. Is there any stress that comes with that? Um, it's very stressful. It was a learning curve. And the reason why I'm the one that puts all that together is because I am kind of a perfectionist and I do have a vision. And I feel like a lot of other people have a hard time understanding that vision or implementing it to the like level that I see it. Um, and I learned how to do graphics on my own. I actually had, I was gonna hire somebody during my first single release back in August of last year, August 28th. Um, and that person couldn't do it. So I was like, you know what? I guess I'm gonna have to learn. And I learned real quick and uh, graphics are a pain in the butt, but uh, you know, it just takes some time to learn them. And uh, if you have a vision, it's, you know, and you know how to do it, it gets easier over time. Yeah. But it is kind of like having to plan it all out is very stressful, especially when you're, you know, doing everything yourself. <laughs> well, hey, it really worked because CMT debuted one of your videos. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So CMT debuted um actually three of my single release videos um they debuted my most recent one and it's called uh, table for one drinking for two and that song is still on quite a few spotify playlists including wild country new boots um next from nashville um oh my gosh young nashville breakout country it's like doing really well on spotify i'm really proud of that song uh, and that came out february 5th so yeah, I, I think the song is doing really well and um, I'm gonna be releasing my new EP April 16th. I got three songs uh, to release out into the world and I'm very excited. Um, by the time you know you release music, you're sick of the music. So I'm very excited <laughs> to release this music. Move on to something else, get those creative juices flowing again. And yes, <laughs> I get that, I it's get that. for a new chapter. <laughs> Uh, what can fans expect on uh, these three songs? Yeah, so, you know, this, all this music that I had recorded, three of the songs were recorded before the pandemic hit, like right before, and then three of them were finished by June of last year. And this is like my first real project that I've ever truly, you know, put together. And I will say like, I'm still finding myself as an artist and what I represent. And these songs, I understand, you know, they might be a little bit all over the place, but it does touch on, you know, my journey here in Nashville and who I am as a person and my dreams and what I've experienced here. And these songs, you know, um, gosh, they are very different from one another. I will say that. Uh, there's a song called You Can Thank Me Later. And I would say it's quite similar to Table for One, Drinking for Two. It's kind of an independence anthem. Mm -hmm. And I have another song called Midnight Cowgirl. 
And a funny thing about that song is my co-writers after we wrote it together said, this is probably the first song that we've ever written together that was truly me. And you're, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this song. You're gonna have to listen to it. Um, but it's, it's a, a very pure country song. And a lot of people have um, said that it kind of reminds them a little bit of Casey Musgraves. Yeah. And, and then I have another song called um, Kiss Me If You Can, and it's just like a little playful, flirty song. Yeah. And now a lot of people may not be aware that you're from Arizona and you relocated to Nashville to pursue this dream. Tell us about that journey and how long uh, ago you started that. So I moved to Nashville three years ago and um, I basically didn't really live here last year. I was traveling a lot. I lived on my parents' ranch for like three months. And then um, I actually kept going back to Arizona a lot and I drove, I didn't fly. I put like, 30, I put like 30,000 miles on my car last year. It was insane. Wow. One month I put 10,000 miles on my car. And Goodness. cause I went on a big road trip with my cousin. Cause I'm like, you know what? God gave us the pandemic. I'm just gonna go on a road trip and see national parks I've never seen before that I've always wanted to see. Ah, it's beautiful. So we went, you know, it was, I'm, I know crap, how crappy last year was. It really was crappy, but it kind of made you stop and think about life. And, you know, it's like, it kind of became the perfect time to go do things, social distancing. And <laughs> um, no, I'm really grateful, honestly, to be able to have been able to do that last year because I don't think I would have been able to find time otherwise. Um, but I, yeah, moved out to Nashville about three years ago. Um, actually, it was like February of 20. What is that? 2018, 2019? I don't even. What are here. dates anymore? I mean, my goodness. <laughs> but uh, I moved here after a breakup. I was actually <laughs> originally going to like move to Alaska to be with this guy. And I'm so happy I didn't. And uh, we broke up and I moved out here and I didn't know a single soul in this town. I don't have family here. The closest family I have is like in Detroit or Dallas. And um, yeah, I just started networking and writing music and, you know, doing all the national things that everyone has to do when they first come here as an artist and get a lot of no's, yeah. still get a lot of no's, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you know, and you never want to sacrifice your dream for a boy, let me tell you. No. Never do that. No. <laughs> but that breakup did make me realize like what I wanted to do in life. I was a little lost for a while. That's good. So I, that was a blessing in disguise for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I, I'm sure just like everyone else, you're eager to get back on the road. What, uh, what, what plans for 2021 do you have at this point, if any, for uh, shows? Um, show wise, I think it's going to be almost, you know, I'm very unsure about the future right now because of everything that's kind of happening. Um, I'm not sure. I understand a lot of people are booking shows and stuff, but like, who knows if they're all going to get canceled again. Mm -hmm. um, it sucks because last year I had like a bunch of shows like booked, like band shows, gigs in Nashville, which I was really looking forward to. So I plan on doing that hopefully um, by June of this year. I actually am going on another road trip. <laughs> <laughs> I love that road trip. I went on so much. I had to. I'll work. come with you. I yes. love road trips. Let's do it. <laughs> Well, we're going to be going all, uh, it's the Pacific Coast Highway trip. That's what we're doing this time. Oh, that's um, great. Yeah. So, but I'm hoping to put out a single, um, hopefully within the first week of June. Uh, I just finished it and I'm getting it demoed like next week. So I'm hoping it sounds good enough to put out. But um, yeah, that's kind of like my plan there. And I was hoping to, you know, do some shows probably around the time that I released that single and then go on my road trip and then come back and see. I have other things planned. I'm a little bit all over the place because I'm really trying to just kind of figure myself out at the moment. It's, mm -hmm. it's because I just feel like there's so many artists out there at the moment that it's, it's like there's not enough space for everyone. So it's kind of like, okay, how can I really showcase myself? And um, I have... I don't know why some random idea sparked in my mind a few weeks ago and I really want to actually start um, possibly a group 
So I've been looking into that and I've been contacting some people about it. And who knows, that might be a thing this year. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to that. I have a really good feeling about it. That's great. Well, we will certainly be keeping up with you uh, as all of this happens. Hopefully you come back from your road trip and things are completely open and we get to have tours and uh, the opportunities are there again. I can tell that uh, you have a brain and a mind and a heart, I think, that doesn't stop. <laughs> so uh, just keep taking advantage of the good and the bad of this era. And uh, I'm sure big things are ahead. Thank you.